Hi, everyone. My name is Brandon, and thank you all for joining us for this year's Cloud Native Security Day. I hope you enjoyed the great day of talks. And usually, we, we have some interactive activities going on as well. Last year, we did uh, an unconference style discussion. And I believe that this year, there were some plans to do a CTF this year if we had it in person. Uh, so big thank you to the organizing team, um, Emily, Amy, Michael Holzenbus, and Michael Ducey, uh, Ricardo Aravina, uh, Andrew Martin, Marky Jackson, Andres Vega, and Justin Carmack. Uh, thank you for putting this uh, great agenda here for us today. Um, so with the last few minutes, I kind of like want to talk a little bit more about SIG security uh, and to kind of go into a bit of detail on top of uh, what Emily has mentioned about SIG security in the opening. Uh, so before I go ahead, I just want to mention that um, how SIG security works is all around a GitHub. So if there's anything that uh, kind of you want to take away today, um, if you go to our GitHub at github.com slash cncf security, you should be able to uh, find everything that we're talking about today uh, or be able to connect to the right people there. All right, so um, Emily already uh, mentioned a bit more about presentations this morning. If you like uh, the type of topics that we have today, uh, we have a lot of presentations as well. Um, during our weekly meetings on Wednesday. And also, if you're interested in talking about something that you're passionate about related to security, privacy, compliance, um, anything, you can create an issue and we can schedule uh, a presentation for the topic. So another thing that I'd like to go into detail a bit more is security assessments. Um, so what security assessments are, they are a little bit different from uh, traditional security audits. Uh, the main focus of security assessments are to be able to um, identify the posture of a CNCF project uh, in terms of security. So the idea here is that we work with the, a project to kind of look at the design aspects as well as kind of um, how they do security handling and things like that. So this has been ongoing for a while and we've completed quite a few. Um, and we have a, a few upcoming, which are Cloud Custodian and Build Packs. And this is somewhere that we're looking for more people to participate and get involved with. So the good thing about security assessment, besides just giving um, an opportunity to discuss about security related aspects of a CNCF project, is that what ends up being produced from this security assessment is um, a document that basically highlights uh, security aspects of a project. So for example, uh, with Intoto, OPA, Spiffy, Spire, and Harbor, we have a document that basically goes through details about uh, here's an overview of the project. Here are kind of the security aspects of the project considerations that you were, uh, you might want to think about when you are using or deploying this um, particular technology. And so this acts as a good way for someone that's interested in using a project to kind of look at it from a security perspective. So security assessments usually go about three weeks. Um, really, the the meat of it is. Um, we have the project team as well as a group of reviewers. Usually we have four to five security reviewers for each um, assessment. And it's kind of like a back and forth discussion on uh, aspects of security, whether we want to um, discuss certain threat models. Uh, we can we usually discuss certain topics of scope of security, you know, what are certain uh, usability aspects of security, for example. Um, so this has been ongoing, and like I mentioned previously, we are looking for um, more people that want to come um, participate in these reviews. Um, so right now we have Cloud Custodian and um, Bell Packs. So if you would like, if you're interested in helping out, you can reach out, out to us on Slack, or you can also just go into the assessment page and look for the assessments under issues. So another thing that we've done is the supply chain catalog. This was actually um, something that was uh, brought about uh, from the in-total review. And um, 
what this is, is it kind of addresses some of the issues that um, about supply chain. What are supply chain attacks like typo squatting that Jay mentioned just now? Um, so there's a detailed guide on what are potential uh, supply chain attacks as well as real examples that uh, security practitioners can take and go back to management and say that, okay, uh, look, here are some real examples of supply chain attacks. We should um, consider addressing those. So the cool thing about this project is that it was actually started by one of our members, Santiago. He was really passionate about uh, supply chain catalog and basically he proposed it as a, a project. And because of the interest in it, it became a six security project. So if there's something that you're interested in doing, is it something that uh, you think people would also be interested in collaborating on? Um, we definitely you know, are very open to this. If you like to create an issue or proposal, um, stating what your interest in, it may, we may be able to you know, create a sec security project around it. Uh, one of the last thing I have to talk about is the Cloud Native Security White Paper. This is an ongoing effort uh, Emily and JJ uh, and Vinay are looking at this, um, as well as many other collaborators. And the idea here is it's going to be uh, a white paper consisting of basically various aspects of cognitive security, all the way from high level like use cases, personas, uh, compliance, all the way to how um, the different technologies for image signing, how do you do these, what are the life cycles that a developer has to go through, and so on. And this is issue 138, if you're interested in that. So quickly, just to wrap up again, uh, how do you get involved? Everything is pretty much uh, within our GitHub. So you go to github.com, CNCF security, SIG security. Uh, we have a new member section, which should help you get started. Uh, if you don't see anything already in the issues, you can feel free to create one issue, um, one or more issue. And finally, um, you know, besides checking out us out on GitHub, uh, you can also join the CNCF secure, um, SIG security Slack channel. And as well, we have um, meetings every, every Wednesday, uh, besides this week because of QCon, uh, which, is, which are at 10 a.m. Pacific time, which I believe is uh, 7 p.m. Central Europe time. If not, um, that's all we have for today. Thank you again, everyone, for, for participating and joining. And uh, thank you to the speakers as well as the organizers for um, this great coordinated security day. Thank you.